What's up, world? Welcome back. I am Dwayne Langham. This is the app, YOLO app, the road leash travel, and you have just tuned in for another live broadcast. My question today, you saw it. How big is your game? Only live once, that's the motto, nigga, YOLO. What does that mean? Now, yesterday we talked about growth. Martin Luther King used to say, growth is not how deep, how much knowledge you take in, how tall you grow, but how wide you grow, how much you cover, right? So we compared that to, you know, the scope of what you're doing in life. Well, I wanna carry that on. How big is your game? What are you up to in life? When you get up every day, when you roll out of bed, have you found that passion in your life? Are you doing something that really inspires you, that drives you to get up? Motivation, we talked about that last week. Have you found your reason to go out there and be big? So my question is, how big of a game are you playing? Now, does that mean how much money are you going for? How much success are you striving for? It could, it all depends. For some people, a big game is just putting a roof over their head. I know some people, I coach some people who literally have been homeless. You know, I offer my services and availability to the world. I want to help everybody. But how big of a game are you playing? Is it just paying your bills? Is it just keeping gas in your tank? Are you striving to build that career? Are you going to school so that the game you're playing is the next step, the next stage? Are you building something? Now, here's a real question. Does your game go beyond yourself? Ooh. Does your game have a team? There you go. Are you partnering with people, collaborating with people? Are you making things happen that go beyond yourself? That's when things get really big. Now, here's the true question. Who is your game impacting? That's when you're playing a big game, when it goes on beyond you. Maybe you're coaching a little league. Maybe you offer some tutoring. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, you're offering goods, services, you know, running a business. Is that your game? question is, if you want to be out here in life, you only get one, right? Talk about the journey to success, all that good stuff, all this good hype. But in reality, how big is your game? Now, this is more of an internal question because nobody can evaluate how big your game is. Nobody can tell you, ah, oh, man, you're playing small. You have to tell you that because you know what you're truly capable of. So have you asked yourself that? And if you are playing a big game, are you really on the court? Are you really making it happen? Are you really a playmaker? Getting in there, doing some things, shaking folks up, breaking ankles, throwing up the Hail Marys, always pulling through in the clutch. Is that you? How big of a game are you playing? Okay, now this is the real challenge. Say you boasting and bragging, right? You feeling good about yourself right now. Like, yeah, I'm playing a big game. You see what I'm over here doing? Checking these receipts. Okay, now, what if you play a game bigger than you? No, not just covering other people than you. I mean, bigger than you. A game that doesn't fit in your life. Can you handle that? Can you take that on? Right? You're doing a lot. Balancing, spinning the plates all the time. Putting this together, putting that together. Tying things together. You got your agenda without your calendar. You fall apart. You just got so much going on, right? What if you have to go bigger? Go big or go home. This is that one life, right? You get one life to make things happen, one life to do something big. YOLO, you only live once. So what if the game is bigger than you that causes you to stretch and expand? So big that you cannot keep track of it all. That's a challenge, people. So big that you can't keep it all in check, that you're gonna miss some appointments, that you're gonna run late now and again, that things are gonna blend, that you're gonna forget some stuff, that you'll be out of integrity now and again. A game that big that you can't hang on to it, that you absolutely need a team, that you need other people to be involved. You see, that's the type of game that people who define history make. When history became his story, right? When other people are gonna talk about it for decades, for years to come. That's when you're playing a game monumental. A truly big game is bigger than any one person can be. You wanna see some big games in life? Martin Luther King. You want to see some big games in life? Jesus. There's all kinds of stories, all kinds of examples out there. But the big games, Gandhi, when you take on something bigger than yourself, where the game isn't even the end result, where the game is the world, we're all told as children, or at least you should have been, I'm 
sorry if you weren't. We were all told as children that you can change the world, that you can do anything, that it only takes one person. But how many people really take that on? How many people do? Be honest with yourself. How many people take on changing the world? Not just your world, not just your things, not just your family, your community, but changing the world. Not a lot these days. You see, that's my, that's my goal. I want to change the world. I want everyone to know about the endless power and possibility that you have. That's why I get up every day and make these videos. Because I want to change the thoughts that are in the world. I know you're here on Facebook. I know if you keep scrolling past my video, you're probably seeing some bad things, some negative things, some trash things, stuff dragging you through the mud throughout the day, reminding you of how wicked this world is, evil this world is, bad things in this world. Media, propaganda. I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but that's the only thing we seem to focus on. That's the juicy stuff. That's what sells. That's what gets your attention. Why? Who knows? I want better in my life. I got to stop the feed. If I'm not feeding y'all, giving y'all some good messages, looking around for who else is talking about good messages, I got to cut it off because that's not the game I'm playing. I don't have time to look at that stuff. To be honest and true, it doesn't serve me. It doesn't serve you. It doesn't help build the world that I want to see. That's the game I'm playing. I'm so focused. I'm so focused and driven. I don't have time for any of that other stuff. That's when it's bigger than yourself. It changes every action you take throughout the day. When you play a big game, a game bigger than yourself, it changes why you get up in the morning. It changes the attitude you take with your actions. If you're making phone calls, if you're making sales appointments, if you're having meetings, if you're interacting with other people, the game that you're playing is going to change what you do. It makes it that this is a laborious task that you have to get through to I don't have enough time in the day because I got to reach these people. I got to teach these people. I got to do some things. I got to put something together. I got to change the world. Seven, eight billion people out there depending on me. I got to get it. So how big is your game? Again, nobody can tell you. I'm not telling you your game is small. That's a self-evaluation. How big your game is is completely up to you. How all out you play is completely up to you. There is no right, wrong, no good or bad. Either way, it's just perfect, whole and complete as you are. But the question to ask yourself, what is that? That's my question, what's going on in nature? Anyway, the question to ask yourself is how big is your game? And the challenge, now the challenge I can pass to you, play a game bigger than yourself. Play a game bigger than you can handle. Play a game that requires you to have others involved, to build a team. Play a game that'll change the world. Because if you take on that mindset, I don't care if it's giving change to a stranger, helping some old lady cross the street, giving somebody a ride, it doesn't matter. When that's the game that you're playing, didn't they say that in the Bible? That, that's when Jesus was looking? When nobody else was watching, the little things you didn't think about, when you're playing that big of a game, your world changes. The world changes. Now, when do you get started on this game? Hmm, let's see, tomorrow. Uh, we almost halfway through the month. We can go for like November. I mean, it's Tuesday. You won't wait for next Monday? Uh, wait, yeah, okay. Today, today is the best day of your life. Play a big game today. Live powerfully today. Go out, do things. Make plays. Make things happen today. It's the only one you got. As always, I'm right here wishing you the best and only success. YouTube.com, YOLO app, Facebook. Share it. Spread the word. Get these messages out there. Put something positive in your feed, in your family's feed. Give them some good thoughts, some inspiration. Let everybody play a big game. Get your team to play a big game. That's how we do it. One person at a time. You can do it. You have that power. Take it. Take it. Take that pen and write the page today. Love y'all. Peace. Is there anything else you want to say? Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I think you're beautiful. <laughs> I think you're beautiful. Really? Yes. Are you sure? Yes.